welcome to a weekend vlog. This is going to be a weekend of wellness and just healthy, lovely lifestyle and escaping the city. Charlie and I have come to a place in the Cotswolds, Gloucestershire called Lakes by You. In fact, I'm not sure if we're actually in Gloucestershire. Either way, we're out of London and that is all that matters. Um, so I thought before we get started with the healthy activities that we're doing this weekend, I'm gonna give you a little house tour. Yes, house, not room tour. Um, because here at Lakes by You, I'll leave the link to this place down below because trust me, I'm gonna to wanna to check this place out. Um, it's basically a load of beautiful houses by some man-made lakes and these houses are just stunning. I think most of the houses are actually owned, um, but you're able to rent them out. So without further ado, check out this room. We are very lucky to have a view of lakes behind us. Uh, this humongous, stunning lounge area. Look at that. There's even an egg chair outside. And then the kitchen is just absolute house goals. Look at this. Beautiful wooden island. All the kitchen things in there. There's Chaz keeping hydrated. Um, and then this beautiful, humongous balcony overlooking the lake. Oh, I just noticed this is a rabbit doing a wee. Look, that is very rude. He's doing a wee. So this is the view from our balcony. And these are all the houses. So they're all kind of like hidden away. But there's loads of different lakes, not just this one. Got all the furniture, hanging chair. And so this is upstairs. I'll show you our little bathroom with Bamford toiletries, which is wonderful. So this is the bathroom, double sinks, which is great because Charlie and I always argue over the sink space. There's another bedroom in there. Let's have a sneak peek. It's quite similar to ours. So this is a twin, twin bed. I think we're sharing the house with a couple of journalists. Um, so this is mine and Charlie's room. Excuse our stuff everywhere, but a beautiful room. Got this nice dressing table. Got some bits and bobs in here, got some super elixir and spiezia organics, is that how you say it? Spiezia. Spiezia <laughs> organics, and again, fabulous view. And then the other room on this floor, we're not sure who's staying in here, but they've definitely locked out. This is the best room by far. They've got an egg-shaped bath, massive kind of like slate double sink, and then the actual room itself is amazing. Look at this, it's humongous and so bright. Not gonna lie, I've got major room envy because I definitely would have filmed a few videos if we'd have been put in this room, but never mind. I'm sure it's some editor of Vogue or something like that staying next door. But yeah, how stunning is this bedroom? And then finally, if we go up the final flight of stairs, we get to the master bedroom, which is just beautiful. Let's see who's staying here. Don't know who that is. Look at this. Oh my god. Our room is teeny compared to this. Look at this bathroom. Wonder what they do if we just swapped. Can't do that, can we? So we've now come to the main kind of villa, which is where all of the activities over the weekend are going to be happening. And I think this one is even more beautiful. Look at this. And this is owned by a South African family, so there's lots of African-inspired art on the walls. It's just absolutely beautiful. And again, huge panoramic balcony. And I'll just take you over to the kitchen where the lovely Bettina is helping us make some um, plant-based food. So I think we're about to make a butternut squash soup. So on my personal itinerary for this afternoon, I've got, um, well, I started off with a consultation um, all about kind of mindfulness, everything that I've been getting into recently, which is fabulous. And after speaking to the consultant about it, uh, we've decided that the head in heaven treatment is gonna be best for me. So it's a very light massage, lots of like oils in the hair and on the face. So really looking forward to that avoiding the eyebrows of course and we're using a natural 100% organic brand called Spiezia which is actually made here in the UK using all natural and organic ingredients so the products are going to be absolutely lovely this is why I'm having my treatment it's going to be about an hour long and I'm so excited <laughs> We are all feeling 
so relaxed. We had a beautiful evening um, after my massage. I um, was just feeling in like a daze. So, so, so relaxing. And then we went downstairs and Bettina, who I didn't realize but I've been following her on Instagram for ages, Bettina's Kitchen, has nearly 100,000 Instagram followers. Um, she prepared us a plant-based meal. So she only does uh, plant-based eating, which I've never really thought about doing before because I'm such a burger lover, um, but she prepared us the most delicious dinner that makes me realise I probably could actually live that kind of lifestyle, so we'll see. So dinner was absolutely delicious, quite surprisingly, really surprised how much I enjoyed it. And then we had some meditation, so a really, really chilled evening, and um, as you can see, I have the most disgustingly oily hair and makeup-free oily face at the moment after my massage, so I'm dying to get in the bath, I've just run at the most amazing bath. Um, with Bamford toiletries which were in the room so it's going to be very luxurious but I thought I would quickly show you um, this sounds really dorky but a new deodorant that I'm going to be trying over the weekend because to be honest I don't actually wear a deodorant every day I'm pretty lazy and I often forget to put it on so when I heard about Perspirex which lasts up to five days and you don't have to worry about it you can bath, shower, do crazy exercise or in my cases we can jump in the lakes um, yeah, it just lasts for five days. So I'm gonna read the instruction manual because it's not like normal deodorant. You have to like, you have to pay attention. Um, and yeah, let you know how I get. So that. here are my two boxes. I've got the original, which is the blue one, and the comfort, which is the green one. Um, comfort, I guess, is just a little bit better for sensitive skin. But I'm just gonna go with the original. So this would be really great for festivals or even if you're going on holiday because it's clinically proven to completely control sweat and odor for up to five days, which is just incredibly handy and I thought it was going to be really complicated but basically all you have to do is put two strokes on so roll it up and down once on each underarm um, and then wash it off the next morning so you have to make sure the underarms are all clean and dry you can use a hairdryer um, but you can't have shaved the day before so I haven't shaved my arms in a nice way <laughs> so I'm all good to go I'm gonna have my nice bath make sure I dry off and then apply and wash it off in the morning good morning half past six at the moment so I'm not going to talk too loudly just in case other guys in the house aren't awake yet um so yeah early start today I can't remember where I finished my vlog last night I think I was probably talking about deodorant um update on which I put it on after the bath um just a couple of strokes on each underarm after my underarms were thoroughly dried as for the instructions and then this morning I just used hot water and soap to wash it off. Apparently that's it, I don't need to do anything else now and I'm going to be sweat and odour free, at least for the weekend, but um, yeah, it should last for the next five days. So that's amazing, perfect for the activities that we've got coming up. So on the itinerary today, we're going to get a bike, we're going to bike over to the main lodge um, where we're going to meet the rest of the gang and we're going to do some sunrise yoga. So I'm pretty sure the sun's already up so just lovely morning yoga overlooking the lake and then we have a PT session so this is where the deodorant will really get put to its test we've got an intense PT session um, with a I can't remember his name but he's like a really famous personal trainer and then to follow that we have a physio session with a physio who does the physio for team GB so I expect good things from him I might see if he can sort out the aches and pains in my shoulders so it's going to be a busy day. Without further ado, let's go. Really so we've come to the main lodge and we're starting the day with a super elixir, which is the Elle McPherson, Elle McPherson, Pearson? Elle McPherson's, um, I think it's like a superfood supplement juice with blended apple and just enjoying it while looking out onto the lakes. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way Because I'm happy I belong if you feel like a woman without a room Because I'm happy
couple of hours later now and Charlie and I have just spent the past like 45 minutes in our beautiful little house taking some photos. Our life would just be so much easier if our house was this photogenic because isn't every surface like perfect for blog photos? Look, he's still at it. Yeah. Yeah. Marvel, every yeah. single photo. We've got Marvel, you've got dark wood. Dexter. Dexter. Dexter's not here, so it's not perfect. Actually, I haven't seen many dogs around here. It'd be interesting to know if they do allow dogs. Um, but yeah, so we've spent the past 45 minutes. We had a little bit of free time while everyone is getting one-on-one -on -one physio sessions. We are the last two, so we've um, taken the time to do some photos. But before that, so we had a, about an hour long chat as a group with um, a physio from the Bosworth Clinic. And he is, he was amazing, wasn't he? So he basically Gordon has- Bosworth. Gordon Bosworth. So he is the physio for Team GB. Um, and he was just telling us stuff that you kind of should already know, but people just don't do, like the importance of posture. And apparently it's a legal requirement for your workplace to get um, a test conducted on where you sit at work. So that's really interesting, but obviously I am self-employed, so I need to just figure it out myself, but very, very interesting. And he was just showing us how much better you feel if you walk properly, if you stand properly, um, and all that jazz. So that was really, really interesting. I think Chaz and I, I think we've probably got about an hour left in free time now so we're probably going to take a little bike and explore the um, lake area because there is a main hub somewhere um, and yeah we just want to check it out a little bit more it's actually roasting today in this house in particular it's really really warm and then we've got the um, PT session later so I'll be putting my deodorant to the test to make sure I'm not smelly later on um, but yeah it's going to be a fun afternoon got lunch cooked by Bettina's kitchen again so, fun, healthy, and very active day ahead. It's time for lunch in the teepee. afternoon so I'll fill you in on when I last vlogged um, so we had lunch cooked by Bettina which was amazing incredibly healthy and yeah I actually liked it so that was rather spectacular um, and then we had a little bit of chill time Charlie and I went for a bike ride which was really nice to have a little look around the whole Lakes Bayou area so we looked at loads of the homes the homes here are just absolutely mental it's such a nice community you can imagine like all the children growing up here it's kind of like the Truman Show, everyone keeps saying it, it's just so perfect here. So it was really lovely to have a little look around by bicycles, we found some chickens, we yeah just enjoyed the views of the lakes by bicycle. So that was a really nice way to look around and explore the lakes area and all the homes, woodland homes and lakeside homes and then we went back to the teepee area and I had my very first physio session with Gordon Bosworth and Gordon is the physio for uh, a lot of the Olympic athletes and is basically the best physio in the UK and um, yes yeah, so it was my first physio session didn't really know what to expect and to be honest I didn't think much would happen because I never thought anything was wrong with my body aside from the odd ache and pain 
but apparently my pelvis was completely locked and that's why sometimes uh, my shoulders ache that's why sometimes i get shin splints all because of my locked pelvis so gordon kind of wrenched each leg down and i could feel it popping back into the place that it should be and then he asked me to walk down the corridor and it was amazing how much difference i noticed just so much lighter um yeah really incredible and then he did some stretches on my head i could hear my head clicking i could hear my shoulders clicking so i feel a lot more light and free now and so much more flexible i did tried to like touch my toes before and afterwards and now i can actually touch my toes which is amazing so that was really fab um and then after that we had an intense hour-long pt session which i think i filmed some clips of and uh it was all using the elastic I don't know what they're called the elastic things that you kind of like lean on um so a different kind of exercise to anything i've ever done before but it was hot and sweaty <laughs> um so yeah we need to freshen up before dinner but thanks to my perspex i am lovely and odor free to be honest it's funny actually because with my old deodorants that i used to use i would just smell of like you know whatever the perfume of the deodorant is but i actually don't smell at all which is actually even better so if you want to put on your nice perfume your Jo Malone or whatever it's not going to mix in with your deodorant smell which is wonderful so I'm going to go back inside the main house now and Patina has prepared us a raw afternoon tea so it's safe to say I'm very intrigued and hungry hopefully it's going to be tasty Tina, can you tell us what is in the cake? Oh, uh, there's uh, nuts and mulberries and wow. Oh, you got a shot. Yeah, we've got like a strawberries oh, and edible flowers. Cool. It's about an hour and a half later, and I've just quickly got showered and changed. I'll show you a quick outfit of the day in a second. Um, and Charlie and I are now back at the main house, and Bettina is going to cook us our dinner with us tonight. So it's going to be more of an interactive session. And we're going to be making a raw roll of some sort, so I'm not sure, we'll find out in a second. Um, but before we get started, I've just found the perfect mirror to show you my outfit of the night. I'm pretty sure you've seen all of these bits and bobs before, um, but I have got some new sunglasses. These are Valentino. Um, and then top is from Topshop. Jeans with a little detail on the knees are from uh, Super Trash. And then my bag, I'll show you my bag is from Zatchel's and I'm slightly obsessed with it. final day in the Cotswolds today um, and we woke up bright and early and did loads of vlog photos because this place is just so photogenic we just had to get lots of work done so we did lots of photos this morning and now we've made our way over to the main house and you can see behind me in the kitchen Bettina and Jay are busy rustling up an incredibly healthy breakfast we've got raw vegan gluten-free pancakes which look beautiful and a super elixir smoothie as well let me show you how gorgeous they are Jay is also whipping up a, what is it, a healthy hot chocolate? Healthy hot chocolate. Healthy hot chocolate. <gasps> Look at this. Making them all perfect. And then over here, Bettina has made the most incredible pancakes. Wow. Look at that. And here are our smoothies. Best way to start the day. So here's my breakfast. I've got pancakes with pistachio uh, mousse, I guess, coconut yogurt, and uh, almond milk hot chocolate with coconut sugar, and an incredibly healthy green juice made with the super extra. Oh, breakfast was amazing. 
amazing as you probably could tell by my video clips um yeah just so nice having healthy food prepared for you i would definitely eat more healthily at home if i could just have someone to prepare it for me but that's the benefit of coming here um so yeah i've just taken a moment to step outside enjoy the peace and tranquility of the lakes because once i get back to london it's not going to be but for now let's just take in these beautiful views We're going down one side of it now. Woo. So we ditched the bikes for a few minutes and we're exploring by foot. This behind me is um, like a massive woodshed and a fire pit and it's where Ben Fogel does his School of Wilds. So all the kids that come here, like a kind of summer camp, they can learn about how to make things in the wild. Like, I don't know, all kinds of skills that proper men and women need to survive. <laughs> now on a rowing boat. It's very, very Nicholas Sparks out on the lakes. Charlie's doing most of the work. Yeah, that's why we went for the bigger boat. So we've reached the final stop on our bike tour and this house was designed by none other than Kate Moss. So let's have a little look inside. Hi. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Lakes by You for hosting us. <laughs>